you today. I hope that you are doing fine and you are enjoying doing your activities while studying at home. This is me again, Teacher Marife, your Science for Teacher. Always eager and excited to be with you in your science journey. Are you ready for today's journey? Do you have your self-learning module? I am Ellen Bowman. If all are set and ready, come on, let's start our learning adventure. In this module, you will further describe the changes in the properties of materials when mixed with other materials. But before that, let's have a quick review. Study each pair of picture below and imagine that you mix them. Draw a happy face if each pair of solid materials can be distinguished and a sad face if cannot be distinguished when mixed. Number 1. Sugar and iodine salt can be distinguished or not. 2. Salt and sand. 3. Paper clips and staple wires. 4. Pepper and salt. And number 5. Powdered milk and flour. Now, compare your answer. Do you get all the numbers right? Okay, great! Let us now proceed to activity number one. Mix them up. These are the materials needed in this activity. Salt and water. Sand and water. Pepper and cooking oil. Machine and vinegar. Ginger and soy sauce. Last is flour and water okay now we will going to mix each pair of materials first is salt and water stir them well describe what happened to the solid materials as we can see the salt completely dissolved in water sand and water. Let's mix them together, stir well, and observe what happened to the sand. It makes the water cloudy. Some sand particles settle down at the bottom of the water. Sand did not dissolve in water. Okay, next is pepper and cooking oil. Let's combine pepper and cooking oil and stir well. Observe, the pepper settled down at the bottom of cooking oil. Then the cooking oil remained the same. Pepper did not dissolve in oil. Now, we will proceed to vetchin and vinegar. Let's combine the tin and the vinegar and stir it well. Observe what happened to the tin and vinegar. As we can see, the tin completely dissolved in vinegar. Next, soy sauce and ginger. Let's combine and stir well. Obviously, as we can see, ginger will not be sold in soy sauce. The last one is flour and water. Let's combine flour and water and stir well. Observe what happens to flour as we combine it with water. As we can see, the flour dissolved in water, but not completely. 
some flour settle down at the bottom of the water after a few seconds. But of course, it makes the water cloudy. As we observe, some solid materials when mixed with the liquid materials dissolve completely. Some make the liquid cloudy or settle at the bottom of the water. Complete the observation table by checking the proper column. Solid materials mixed with liquid material. Did the solid material dissolve in liquid? Did the solid material settle at the bottom? Did the solid materials make the liquid cloudy? Salt and water. Dissolve in liquid? Yes. Settle at the bottom. No. Li make the liquid cloudy. No. How about sand and water? Dissolve in liquid? No. Settle at the bottom. Yes. Make the liquid cloudy. Yes. Pepper and cooking oil. Dissolve in liquid. No. Settle at the bottom. Yes. Make the liquid cloudy. No. Vetsin and vinegar. Dissolve in water. Yes. Settle at the bottom. No. Make the liquid cloudy. No. Or ginger and soy sauce. Settle at the bottom. Yes. Make the liquid cloudy. No. Okay, how about flour and water? Dissolve in liquid. No. Settle at the bottom. Yes. Make the liquid cloudy. Yes. Okay, do you get all the numbers right? Good. To further enhance our understanding about the activity, let us now try to answer the guide question. 1. What solid materials dissolved in liquid? 2. What happens to the sand when mixed with water? Three, which solid materials made the liquid cloudy? And number four, what happens when you mix instant coffee with hot water? Have you answered all the guide questions correctly? Great! Let us now proceed to activity number two. Liquids have magic. In this activity, we will be needing the following materials. Vinegar, alcohol, soy sauce, cooking oil, and water. Okay, now let's find out what happened to the liquid materials when mixed with other liquid materials. First is water and alcohol let's find out yes water and alcohol completely mixed together okay the next is soy sauce and vinegar let's combine soy sauce and vinegar and stir well okay as we observe Soy sauce and vinegar can be mixed. It can be mixed completely. How about water and cooking oil? Let's combine water and cooking oil. And observe. Stir well. As we can see, water and Cooking oil cannot be mixed together. It forms two layers. 
Okay, how about soy sauce and cooking oil? Let's combine soy sauce and cooking oil and mix them together. Stir well and observe. As we can see, it formed two layer. It means that soy sauce and cooking oil cannot mix, cannot be mixed. As we observe in this activity, some liquids completely mixed with other liquid when combined. Other liquids when put together formed two layers. Okay, now let me see if you have understand the activity. Go to page 6 of your module and draw the symbol that describes the resulting mixture. Crescent moon for completely mixed and star for formed two layers. Number 1. Cooking oil and water. 2. Vinegar and soy sauce. 3. Water and alcohol. And number four, soy sauce and cooking oil. Okay, now compare your answer. Do you get all the numbers right? Wow, great! Let us now answer the guide questions. Number one, what changes did you observe when two liquid materials are formed? Two, give at least two examples of liquid materials that completely mixed with other liquids. And number three, give two examples of liquid materials that form two layers when mixed with other liquids. Have you answered all the questions right? Okay, great. Let us now check your understanding. Choose the letter that describes the result when the different solid materials are mixed with liquid. 1. Iodized salt. 2. Powdered detergent. 3. Sand. 4. Garlic. And number 5. Sugar. For letter B, choose the letter that describes the result when the different liquid materials are mixed with water. Number 1, alcohol. Completely mixed or formed two layers. Two. Cooking oil. Three, vinegar. Four, soy sauce. And number five, soft drinks. You get all the numbers right? Very good! I'm sure you are now ready to answer the post test. Enjoy learning!